Luke chapter 17 verse 12 to 19. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was his Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will grant you the heart of thanksgiving that will provoke your uncommon breakthroughs and enviable blessings this season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hello everyone, I'm Brother Stephen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I bring you the Word of God in bite size for easy digestion and application to everyday life situations with prophetic prayers that brings about sudden turnaround to your challenges by the help of the Holy Spirit. If you are new on this platform, you are greatly welcome. And to my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all for your wonderful comments and words of encouragement. God shall grant you the grace to lay to heart all that He has done for you as you offer sacrifice of thanksgiving that will provoke your everlasting blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, through the ages, Thanksgiving or the art of appreciating others for what they have done for us or for or, or what they will do for us has been the hallmark of men and women, young and old, who can think deeply. Beloved, the word thanksgiving was described in the dictionary as the act of giving thanks, grateful acknowledgement of benefits or favors, especially to God. Thanksgiving is an expression of thanks especially to someone who has shown an act of kindness to you. It is a public celebration, an acknowledgement of divine favor or kindness. Beloved, in the passage of the scripture read earlier on, in Luke chapter 17 verse 12 to 19, the Bible talked about the lepers that were cleansed by the Lord Jesus Christ, and just only one came back to appreciate him. Beloved, have you ever imagined why it was only a stranger that guy from Samaria that came back to appreciate the Lord Jesus Christ for cleansing him and making him whole. For me, I want to believe that those other guys are from the same constituency with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so they took him for granted and said, After all, he's our brother. What else can he do for us if he could not cleanse us? They just saw what Jesus did as their right from him as a brother or someone from the same village as them. Familiarity, they say, breed contempt. Beloved, the attitude of these nine guys who did not care to return to appreciate Jesus Christ for cleansing them is the same with so many of us today. We see whatever God has done for us as his duty and that he ought to do it for us anyway and so do not deserve our appreciation. Beloved, some of us don't appreciate the free air we breathe in that is provided by God until we pay through our noses for it in the hospital. That is why today, parents will cough out their life savings to pay a child's school fee, and such child will not bother to say a word of appreciation just because he believes it is the responsibility of the parents, and so do not deserve any thanks. Beloved, how do we provoke our blessings through thanksgiving? Here are certain things you need to do to be able to provoke your blessings or miracle through thanksgiving. One of it is your ability to think deeply. In my village, we used to say whoever is able to think deeply will be able to appreciate any act of kindness done for him. Secondly, you must be humble enough for you to appreciate what others have done for you. However, nowadays, instead of some people appreciating you for what you have done for them, they will just say, what has it done that is extraordinary to warrant appreciation? Beloved, if you have ever done anything worthy of appreciation to people, and all you get is, what has it done that others could not do? 
or you simply don't hear from such fellow again until such time his back is against the wall and he now runs back to you. Beloved, don't be surprised. It is one of the signs of the end time. The word of God says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, This know also that in the last days, very lost times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. The other day, a friend of mine was lamenting how he sent money to a relative in Africa, and he was the one chasing the fellow to find out if he has got the money or not. Can you imagine that? And so, after making frantic effort to reach the fellow, after five days, eventually succeeded in getting the fellow on foot. And all the guy said was, Oh, I received a lot from my bank five days ago. There was no thank you, and there was no apology for not acknowledging the receipt of the money. Beloved, that is the kind of world we are living in right now. Whatever act of kindness you do to anyone, just see it as doing it as unto the Lord Jesus Christ, without expecting thank you in return. Beloved, another person apart from the tenth leper in the Bible who provoked his miracle through thanksgiving is the Lord Jesus Christ himself at the tomb of Lazarus, where he lifted up his voice and said, Thank you, Father, for hearing me always. And he shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And the guy who was dead for four days jacked back to life. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything the enemy has rendered dead in your life, I command you to come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, the word of God says in Psalm 105, verse 1 to 2, O give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds amongst the people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. Beloved, how can you provoke your blessings through thanksgiving? Number one, you must be a fellow who can think deeply. Number two, you must be humble. Number three, you must be obedient just like the lepers who did not question the Lord Jesus Christ when he asked them to go and show themselves to the priest without praying for them. I wonder how many of us will be that obedient nowadays. Beloved, after doing all these things, here are the things you stand to gain when you give thanks. First, speedy answers to your prayers. Second, lasting miracle or wholeness. Third, more kindness and favor coming your way. The word of God says in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. And I will glorify them, and they shall not be small. As you lay it to heart to offer thanksgiving sacrifice unto him this season, for all he has done for you, he will enlarge your post in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, it takes the one who knows him to think deeply and appreciate him. Therefore, if you are there and you are here to give your life to Jesus Christ, now is the time for you to reconcile with your Creator and give your heart to Jesus Christ. And you will have every cause to appreciate him all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching this far. Till I come your way again, keep pressing on towards the mark of the high calling of God. And I pray we shall all reign with him on the last day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bye for now, and I will see you in my next video. Remain blessed.